by just knowing that you've got a garment that is windproof, water repellent and <laughs> fire retardant, which you could surely never need, is in this trouser. We're back with Brands With Purpose, where we're talking about brands that are doing more for our planet or have a reason to exist that extends beyond just making profit. The reason we're talking about Snow Pig is because they're right up your street. They have recently opened their first London store, which is going to be the European flagship, and they've recently launched their first UK website. So it's an absolute perfect time to get involved with a brand and understand more about what they're about. Now, best way I can describe Snow Peak is if you took some dusty outdoor walking brand and sent it to Japan and said to the guys, make this better and you would end up with Snow Peak. The brand was founded by a chap who was a well-seasoned mountain climber himself and he thought about making mountain climbing equipment better, uh, more considered, more tasteful, better designed and mum, the most exciting thing about the whole operation is that he's taken that approach and he's moved it into apparel and clothing. And as you can imagine, those kind of attributes in clothing end up delivering some incredible clothes. But basically, you, it is the way to be the waviest guy on the camping expedition. I'm like, if any of you out there love coffee or having a, a filter coffee, we're talking collapsible drip coffee filters that you can take camping. Like you're gonna turn up on that dead campsite and look like the, um, the biggest legend there. Snow Peak's mission and mantra is about getting people reconnected with the nature. And we all know from reconnecting with nature, people start making more responsible decisions about the planet. So that is something we can definitely get behind. One of the things I'm going to start doing on this channel is brands like, so um, so we can start getting to better grips with what other brands are operating in the space of the brands I'm talking about. Brands like this one, um, from an accessible perspective, you've got Uniqlo, you've got White Mountaineering that do quite a few collaborations with more accessible brands. You've got Ambush, you've got Beams Plus, you've got Needles, you've got 45R, and you've also got this place, Japan House in London, where they are stocking Japanese brands and testing the market with them. So I should start by saying that the way the packaging was delivered wasn't great, the way it was packaged wasn't great. Snow Peaks all arrived, this is straight out of the box. Now the first piece we're going to talk about is this Okayama work shirt in Ekru. Uh, the price is £260. It's basically an overshirt in weight. It's called Okayama because that's the name of the Japanese cloth that it's made in. It has almost like a ripstop construction so it's really hard wearing and you can feel it when you hold it as well. So the really nice thing about this piece is the balance between it being a, quite a traditional classic overshirt in terms of having a traditional collar with the the button closes to the front, but then inc including some really nice premium or at least modern details. The concealed side pockets are one of the best things about this hop. Absolutely love that detail where you can slot into the side and you can see this has um, a dip hem either side of the side vent, so it sits over nicely over your denim or if you've got your keys on a carabiner or whatever. And then you've got this applied pocket to the chest with a flap over the top to keep your stuff in there and secure. And then you've also got these little utility hooks which speak to the function of the garment, and which is a really nice detail that's sort of like the icing on the cake for this piece. And we also got the pocket up top as well, so you've got the button there. And then these are little cord loops really for like hooking stuff in. Um, speaks to utilitarian vibe of Snow Peak or the fact that it's a top meant for practical pursuits. Uh, you've got also the locker loop on the back of the neck. Um, this is called a locker loop because it's the idea that you hang this up in the locker when you take it off so you don't have to throw it on the floor or on the back of a chair. It speaks to the fact that you're going to be using this as a work shirt. There's some other really nice details in this. It's got this beautiful triple needle stitch down the down the back of the yoke, which is, the yoke is this section across the back. It's got this beautiful triple needle stitch down there. It's quite rare to find a triple needle stitch. They're very specific sewing machines that either have had to be restored or reclaimed or refound. Um, and it really speaks to the specialism of the factory that these products are being made in. The triple needle stitches in particularly hard wearing areas, we've got it under the sleeve here, as you know, because it's going to be a place that's going to wear out and also all the way down the side of the body. I absolutely love this colour, Ecru. The reason I got it in Ecru is because 
I just thought this is going to layer so well with everything else that's in my wardrobe that's either black or navy. This can be just chucked over the top without thinking on it, on, of it. The next garment up in my lineup is this flexible insulated pullover. Now this is potentially one of the favourite pieces I've ever brought, which is a huge statement, but I can talk you through the reasons. Now, we're going to show you the fit later on, so that's worth hanging around for, but what it is, is this is basically like... Let's talk like you're at a campfire, it's in the evening, the sun's gone down, it starts getting a little bit chilly and you want to throw a layer over the top. This is what this piece is sort of created for, at least thinking behind the piece. The best part is, is that this is going to look just as good thrown over like an outfit that you're going to wear around town, not on a night out. I mean, when you head out or you're out in the day, this is going to look just as good as a layering piece. Um, the neck's a little wide, so you're going to see whatever collar you're wearing underneath, you can see that I'm what I've worn. The best part about this is that it's thin and lightweight, but it has Polartec material in it. So you're looking at a really efficient insulatory layer. So like it's thin and lightweight, but it's gonna keep you warm, which is like the holy grail for anything insulatory because you're chucking it on to keep warm. You don't necessarily want to add a lot of bulk. And they're here, they've leaned on Polartec in order to achieve that performance attribute to this garment. You can see that the Polartec is sort of stitched in and baffles like a down insulated jacket that's to keep the Polartec in place so that it stays where it's meant to be. And it gives this nice little technical aesthetic as well. You can see this sort of Japanese organic shaped chest pocket to the front there, putting a few bits in. And then you can see all the hems are binded for a little clean, low profile finish. This has got to be like the perfect garment. I love something that has a functional purpose, but just does it quietly. And like once these swing tickets are gone, you would have no idea. It just looks like a great piece. Comes in a few colors, it's 210 pounds, which is a great investment because you can almost wear this with almost anything. Oh, and I nearly forgot, not only is this insulatory lightweight and a perfect throw over, it's also water repellent. So water repellent is not the same as waterproof. Water repellent is, you're going to get a light shower on you and it's going to keep the water from soaking into the garment which is a lovely finish to something that you need to be insulatory because normally when it gets cold it also gets wet so this piece is kind of doing like bridging the best of both worlds there the next piece that we're going to be talking about is the fr pants now these are designed to be windproof and waterproof and i think one of the things that is most obvious from these is just how lightweight they are i wore these on a really hot summer's day it's currently around that time when it's like 30 odd degrees in the uk but they're just so lightweight and they don't cling to the body at all and they are wide leg you can see and they have a, they have a little bit of room in there close up in terms of the texture the little rips that weave to it which is lovely because that speaks for being durable but it doesn't it doesn't feel synthetic at all this is made of polyester and a really exciting fiber called aramid now aramid is really exciting because it's a fiber that was first developed for um military and public services it is flame retardant so this is designed with the guys of like being around campfires because uh, snow peak is an outdoor brand but just knowing that you've got a garment that is windproof water repellent and <laughs> fire retardant which you could surely never need is in this trouser this jacket is 260 pounds you can also get the flame retardant jacket as well so you could have this like two-piece superhero suit of just flame retardant garments which is insane when you think about it this is on offer for the public to buy this is just in here quietly and what makes for an actually really stylish really modern really premium trouser classic japanese feel where it's slightly roomier in the leg i turned these up when i wore them so that i could have my trainers and my socks on the show um, it's got this little belt through the middle with this little plastic clasp which is a lovely little detail and then all the rest of the traditional trouser finishes you expect to find you've got two welt pockets at the back that you can identify by this little slit of material and then a fully functional uh, fly at the front which is also something that we seem to be losing on trousers for some reason but yeah mad absolutely flame retardant windproof water repellent you literally can't ask for much more from a pair of trousers they're almost like superhero trousers i wonder if there is a superhero trouser comic like super pants so yeah that's it for snow peak thanks for watching i really appreciate it we covered snow peak in this video because the comments dropped on the last one so if you'd like to see a brand in the next one or a specific brand, just let me know. I'll do my best. Alternatively, if you could drop me a like or subscribe, it's free to give and it lets me know that I'm doing the right kind of stuff for you. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one.